Hello everybody and welcome back to another Middlesex tree video. Today's going to be a little bit different for us as we're traveling to Wallingford, Connecticut, which is about 45 minutes from the shop that the guys meet at every day. And not only are we heading up here for one job, we're heading up here for two. Eric, this shot is for you, man. Look at this island green at a local golf course. Today we're going to be working for one of Derek's longtime friends, Tim. Tim ended up being an awesome guy and he's exactly the type of customer you love to work for. He was super excited to have us there. It was also his wife's birthday today, so happy birthday to her. Today we're going to be working in a residential neighborhood, so we're going to try to keep the trucks as close as we can so we don't take up too much space on the road. Today we're also going to be getting a lesson in bonsai trees. Tim loves trees, whether they're miniature or full size. So here's a little talk about the bonsai trees. This black pine right here is about 25 years old. These are babies. I just did this black pine and that little black pine. I did that a root over rock, so I took a rock. This That's was my good. little project, and I and I planted it over a rock. You can see the rock right here. Yep. These needles, so you can see a candle sticking out here and a candle sticking. And out yes, here. it actually is pronounced bonsai. Tim told us that that is the proper pronunciation. I always thought it was bonsai. All right, time to get to work. This is going to be a pretty easy job this morning as we're just lifting up some branches on this tree and cutting off the two leaders that are hanging over the house. And even though it's a small tree, Josh is going to get up and do a little bit of climbing today. As I said earlier, Tim was a super excited guy. Let's hear what he has to say about Derek and his business. Looking at this tree, it's like the evolution of your entire company for me. Because I remember when you were by yourself and you were just sort of figuring out. Now it's like to me, because I'm a bonsai artist, to me, when I look at a tree job, most people think of just chopping some limbs down and putting in the garbage and going home. But you're a true, you truly, you're truly taking your art form to a different level. I love how you left the movement of this tree. I love how you protected my house, but still kept the most beautiful thing about this tree, which is this movement. And I love how I can see it. I can see the from the bottom of the trunk all the way to the top. I can see its shape and movement, but I like how you left this canopy so the tree will still remain healthy and still photosynthesize. It looks gorgeous. And I know it's like, the thing I love about you most, Eric, it's like you're a bonsai artist with a chainsaw. And what you do to these trees is very atypical to what most tree people do. You actually think about this as an art form as opposed to just chopping something down and throwing it away. So I really appreciate it, brother. Thanks, bro. Yeah, you're a true master. You're a true artist. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. I love the balance and the symmetry too. I love how it has like its apex and then it has, it has like three sections. It has this bottom section here, then it has your apex, then it has your side sort of like a bonsai tree it has like your top bottom your bottom your middle section and then your top i love it tim that was really nice of you we really appreciate it here's a quick little time lapse of us heading to our second job as i said earlier that is also in wallingford we're going to be working in another residential neighborhood chaw and josh are going to be working on this tree in the backyard lifting up some branches and putting a cable in it while derek and eric are going to be working in the front of the house to remove this tree have a look at this beautiful japanese maple is that gorgeous or what Derek is going to be cutting this tree down from the bottom up, and Eric is going to be working with the pole saw, cutting some of these branches away from the power lines. Draw Red Bull time! Hell yeah. <laughs> Always. <laughs> As Derek is working up in the bucket truck, Eric's going to be working on the new dingo, cleaning up the ground in preparation for the bigger branches to drop. All in all, this was a pretty quick job for us and we were here for about a few hours. 